Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how to create an exploded view 3D animation. This is a very useful way to showcase product designs. Not only does it reveal all the parts that might not be visible from the outside view, but it can also serve as a guide for assembling or fixing it. This power bank design is a perfect example for us to work on. But, before we start. It is essential to have a well-organized project. For example, if part of the design is built with multiple objects, make sure you join them in a group. It will be extremely useful when creating animations. Let's get going. Open the Animate tab. Start with a new animation and rename it. Move the playhead to 0.5 seconds and set the animation time to 1 second. When the objects are moved, a keyframe is automatically created on the timeline. Set the position of each individual object to where they should be at the end of the animation. Move the objects so that all internal parts are visible. In other words, the exploded view. A little trick. To make this animation more dynamic, we will add additional keyframes to create a slight bounce effect. We will do this by repositioning the playhead and adding additional keyframes. Move the parts slightly closer together. And it is done. Preview the animation. Make sure that all parts are clearly visible when the layers are expanded. Readjust them as needed. This will automatically override the previous keyframes, so there is no need to change the time frame. In the final showcase, we want the exploded object to open and then close after a while. To get that effect, we will extend the animation and add keyframes. We'll use the keyframes we already have. Select all the keyframes where our power bank is open. Copy and paste them. Now, copy the keyframes where the power bank is closed at the beginning of the animation. Paste them at the end. This will set it back to its original state. Let's add the ease out effect to make the animation start and then slow it down. Select keyframes where the power bank is fully open and change the easing to ease out. Do the same for keyframes at the end of the animation. If you want the overall animation to last longer, extend it by repositioning the keyframes and extending the time when the power bank starts to close. In the next step, we will set up an interaction that will activate the animation. In this case we want the animation to start with a click anywhere on the object. Open the Interact tab. Add new interaction and rename it. Set the trigger on click and choose the power bank animation group. Add a new action and select the animation. You are ready to share the project by copying the link. It can be opened on any device so feel free to send it in an email or a chat. In our next tutorial, we'll look at new ways to work with exploded product animations by introducing new functionality and features. Stay tuned!